hi guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is faith i'm a registered nurse and on this channel we talk more about general leveling up in all aspects of your life and also career wise and for nurses who want to join the u.s workforce as nurses this is the channel for you that's mainly what we discuss but today guys i'm doing a very different video from the usual videos that i usually do today's video is me showing you how i'm doing my hair because i've realized that one of the things that I struggle with when I move to a new place is my hair. I usually don't get people who know how to do my hair immediately. And I've struggled with that for so long. So now that I'm on this journey, I realize that one of the things that I have to take care of and know how to take care of by myself is my hair. And that's why I'm doing this video because I'm also being told that doing hair out there is very expensive even compared to my country where I live and I'm, I've also realized that as I'm learning to take care of my hair by myself without relying on the salon it is cutting cost first of all and it's also good for my just skills to make sure I know skills and doing my hair is one skill that I know will really come in handy and also it saves money because when you are on this journey you need to save that coin because there are so many things that you do that require your finances so if you can cast, cut cost by taking care of your hair that will be very nice so today guys um redoing the hair that i was with in the last video and if you watch my channel you remember this hair i did it myself you'll see the pictures here and the hair that i've been appearing with on this channel most of the time i did them myself you'll see the pictures on the screen so i've been practicing I'm not perfect but I'm still practicing how to take care of my hair. So I did this hair like two weeks ago and it didn't even take like two weeks and the cornrows underneath were falling out and they were becoming crooked. So I removed it and just saved this because they were still okay. I've just sprayed them, shampoo sprayed them and they are still new so i want to do them again i want to reuse them i don't remember the company but um, i don't know there are locks something locks from a company called darling i don't really remember that company very well but this the hair and i re i threw away the packet that i bought the hair from so the hair is nice it doesn't it doesn't lose these curls easily that's why i chose them and yeah i'm going to redo it because i'm not going to buy another hair when i still have these things and this hair and it's re, it its curls are still very vibrant so this is what i'm going to use so it's not kind of a tutorial but i just wanted to also document this journey because as i'm leveling up my career other aspects of life i want to level up doing my hair is one of it yeah it saves your it saves you time to go to the salon it saves you your finances to pay the saloonists if you can do this please do because so many ladies who have relocated are really complaining that it's hard to take care of their hair out there and some of them end up shaving their hair so that is a nice skill that you can have so yeah i've already washed my hair and i've straightened it and 
I just want to do the cornbread and also put this these locks in. So just watch. I don't know if I'll be explaining because I'm not perfect with the with the the, the technique. But then just watch and enjoy and yeah, so let's start. So I'll be using this, this comb, it's wooden. I like it because of this, the thin tip. It will help me split my hair well. And I'll be using these bands, these two bands to hold the excess hair out of the way as I do my cornrows. So, I've never done such a video before. But can do this together, see. My splits are not perfect, but I'm sure you can see. Yeah, so I've divided it into two sections and I'll remove this, take this out of the way. I like starting with I'll not do a very small chondroid because anyway I don't want to stay with the same hair for long because I my hair usually dry out so easily and I need to wash my hair like after every two weeks and guys, I'm so happy that I can even do this. I never knew that I can take care of my hair. Guys, I can count the times that I've gone to the salon. I used to go to the salon even to wash my hair. But this year, I've only gone, I think once. And I was rushing somewhere. And I just decided to go take care of my hair in the salon. Yeah. So I think I'll use, it's a big chunk of hair, but that's what I'll work with. And I'm still practicing how to do my cornrows perfectly. So for this video, just bear with me, they won't be perfect. Oh, and I need my, my oil. I usually like to put some oil at the tips. Just to make sure my hair is not dry, so I'll take care of me. I'm back, guys. So for my oil, I usually use the, just the Venus hair food. Let me put it this way so that you can read it. Or this way. Yeah, that's what I use because it is the oil that I've been using for so long. And on my scalp, I use the olive oil. I deal. I usually just go pick these ones because one, they are cheap and they work with my hair. So I think that's not a problem. They are doing cornrows. I split this hair into two. I don't like looking in the mirror or even somewhere where I can see myself because I end up messing. I think I can do this. I hope you guys see how I'm doing my con rides. I'll do one then. 
the next I'll just be going guys there are so many tutorials on doing your corn rates on YouTube so see <laughs> yeah um, I know it won't be perfect but it will work because they'll be under this this hair that I'll put on top so, you don't really need to be that perfect hope you guys will get the idea I'm so proud that I can even do something like looks like a conroid because I never knew I could do this see why I'm up um, happy because even if I do this and get a wig a nice wig I can still take care of my hair because then I'll put a wig on top I've been learning so many things guys so many things to do and when you are on this journey you use a lot of money on the process and you kind of forget yourself so these are just a good way of learning how to take care of things that you can and cutting costs because you also need to save your money you need it and guys don't forget to subscribe to subscribe like this channel and like the video and yeah here we learn a lot about the transitioning to the US and this is part of transition for the guys who follow me please tell your wife to learn how to take care of their hair because it is not cheap out there you don't have you don't want to go there and start spending money <sighs> you can see guys hope it looks nice <laughs> i hope i've tried yeah thinking of every mistake sick of the give and the take So what is new? Just waiting in queue. You done on me, what was done on you? It's hard to forget, but I get confused. See, guys, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing chondroids, but we somehow get there. So let's do the rest of the head and start putting the hair in i forgive you for the things that you're not sorry for i forgive the way so guys we are done with the chondroids it's taken me like 30 minutes to do the whole thing they are not very nice looking, but they are good. They'll serve the purpose. 
Now I'll just put in the olive oil. I wish you were there to show me you care. So many things before I start doing the I'm really sweating. The pressure it makes a diamond. It's so not easy, guys. I'll never ever get a chance to go back in time. So, if I did, I don't know. Now, guys, this is the crochet that I'll be using. This thing is, I think, 100 bob. I bought it a little while ago. I don't remember the price. But it's not more than. Not more than 150 shillings. That's not more than 1.5 US dollar. If you're not here. Now this hair has two colors, this one and this one. So I'll be mix. I'll be mix mix <laughs> mixing it up. So let's start. The other time when I did it, I started from the back and I almost ran out of hair. So I'll try to start from the front. Just show you guys. Put this needle in here. And then put the hair around it. Then slide this thing. Then pull it out. Then put the hair in the knot. Just like that, right? That is brown. We'll do the black one. This, put it in the hair. I want a, a little bit more hair from the front. Then insert it, then put the other thing up, pull it. I only do one knot because it's easier to release because I'll have no one to help me remove this hair once I want to yeah just like that guys that's how we are doing it insert the needle again then I'm using the camera like my mirror then pull it out then just put the hair inside the knot and pull it just like that guys see it's started to starting to take it its course And I can't believe I used to pay a thousand bob to do my hair like this and I can do it myself and other places it might be more expensive than that so you'll be saving some money you'll be saving yourself some time because Sometimes you have you go to the salon and there are so many people and you have to wait in line like in Kenya most of the, the salons especially where I live You don't book an appointment. So you just show up Or maybe you call the salonist. They tell you oh There's no people Hakuna watu if you understand so It means there's no people and then you go there then you find how the queue of five people and you're the sixth one and everyone wants to their hair done quite quickly and they want to get out of there you become frustrated when you can do these things by yourself so ladies you can save your money your time and Save yourself the hassle of going to. Oh, guys, I'm really sweating. I don't know why. 
yeah so guys that's how I'm doing my hair and I'll be rocking it for the next like two weeks and I'll remove it wash my hair again and try on another style see when you know how to do these things by yourself I'm not saying I'm perfect this is nowhere near perfection but when you know how to do it by yourself there is that feeling that it is so nice when you know how to take care of things by yourself it gives you some sense of entitlement right it's a nice feeling so let me just fast forward this video so that we can finish and see the finished look okay sick of the give and the take hey so what is new just waiting in queue you done on me what was done on you it's hard to forget but i get confused so confused but i Trying to be strong and get us to lose, oh no I'll never ever get a chance to go back in time Even if I did, I don't know if I like what I find Feeling intervention coming from So guys, we are done This is the finished product You see those weird chondroids that I did That were not looking so nice They are all disappeared I put on some lip gloss so that I can some pink lip gloss so that I can take my photo for the thumbnail of this video but this is the finished product guys see you can do anything if you want to I never did my own hair my entire life but when I started this journey and realized that this is one expense that I can put down cut cost and I can do this on my own yeah now I can so this is it guys I think I look at the website of this the darling website and put a picture of the hair on the screen but this is how it looks like it's very nice it doesn't lose these curls anyhow Lee. And I think this is just a nice hair that you can, if you want to start styling your own hair, you can start with. So that is it, guys. I'll just spray a little bit. I had sprayed it already with the dry shampoo. But this is the, what is this called? It's olive oil radiant spray. See? This is what I use on my this the artificial hair but i don't use this on my my real hair yeah so that is it guys that's the finished product it looks amazing and i like it so yeah so thank you so much for sticking by thank you so much for watching i hope you can do this also this is not a usual video but i want to start also vlogging on this channel because i've talked so much about this journey and as you go through this journey life doesn't stop other things go on also so you have i want to show you all those aspects of as you wait for things to happen what you can do and what i i did there are so many things that I'm doing, but taking care of my hair and taking care of some of the things that I can do by myself is what I'm teaching myself 
too so yeah this is the final product i hope i have inspired you even if you've not started this journey or you are not really a nurse because i know there are people who follow me who are not really nurses but i hope this in inspires you to do this take care of your own hair yeah, so this is this is it guys that was the video for today the next video could be a sit down but in between vlogs will be coming so yeah we are still waiting some countries like nigeria are really getting dates from the embassies but our kenyan embassy god knows what is happening there but we leave it to god one day things will happen so as we wait let life continue so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye forgive you forgive you i'm sorry it took this long